ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for coming out on this wonderful Saturday evening. We're very proud and excited to show you the very first showing and only of our play, Through the Eyes of a Child. Ah, uh, yes. New Year's Eve 2008. Where to start, where to begin? Epstein. Epstein. Fauci. Giuliani. What's next, Stephen Hawking? <laughs> Where are the letters to this house? Ah, uh, here it is. Every time I deliver a letter to a house, I can only imagine how happy it makes a family. I had a family once. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't too fond of my ethics. By God, do I love LeBron James. Back in my heydays, I used to deliver mail to his house when he was about yay high. Every street corner, every street, and every corner. All in the palm of my hand. I used to be someone, you know. Boy, that boy really is the boy from Akron. <laughs> you know, 2008 is the year of the rat. Symbolic of the times, the year of the rat is charming, energetic, a lovable person. If I could assign 2008 to a person, it would be Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> what a peaceful and lovable guy. I wonder what he listens to nowadays. I have a hunch about these things, you know. As a mailman myself, I've seen it all. I'm of the belief that if it wasn't for the elders correcting the mistakes of the young, then there would be no state. And I stand by that. <laughs> I have a hunch about these things. The Olympics were beautiful. They were in China. <laughs> I have a hunch about these things. <laughs> Ohio is really talented nowadays. <laughs> you know, one time, I delivered a letter to a homeless man. <laughs> who played the most beautiful song I heard in my entire life by picking the scabs off his face. <laughs> His name was Hunter R. Biden. <laughs> I have a hunch about these things, you know. <sighs> a lot of Nintendo Wii's were delivered by me. Something to keep the kids entertained while my divorce happens. And tomorrow is 2009. Five letter word for okra stew. Huh. I knew I should have asked these to be double fat. Gumbo. What? I just bought stuff to make a charcuterie board. What does that mean? If it's repeated, it's nothing new. What's wrong with that? Everyone loves charcuterie. <sighs> Who's coming tonight? Eight characters starting with I. What? Where the fuck is my Blackberry? A cross. It's not a cross, it's right here, hello? Oh, 
Hi, honey. Didn't see you come in. Hey, do you know the Latin word for divorce? Honey. Hey, um, you can tell me. Have you been gambling again? Well, I wasn't going to tell you now. But as a matter of fact, yes, I have. <laughs> But honey, I'm winning this time. Winning big. I've been betting the LeBron James overs every night. It's a system that can't fail. Vegas is on my side. Cleveland is on my side. Dare I say, God is on my side. Then why are we losing our house? Piece of paper? What is this? How long have you known? How long have I known? There's been nothing to know. This has to be a lie. I know this is because you started gambling again. Oh, do you really think I would lose our house and not tell you? No, no I don't. You're not listening to me. You're not paying the bills. Oh, there we go again. Recession talk. <laughs> I thought we decided to drop it for the night. Tonight's our New Year's party and we have to have fun. And here you go bringing up divorce again. <laughs> Hi, Brother Andy. How fun are you? <laughs> hey, you got my money? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You can give it to me next year. Am I right? Ha ha. Yeah. yeah next year. Yeah, yeah, that Janet's really busting your balls, isn't she? You don't speak about my wife that way. We're not doing this right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, who is this beautiful woman? Christina. This is my coworker, Christina, uh, from work. Oh, the old work wife, huh? <laughs> Christina, oh my gosh, so good to see you. You're so confident showing up here like this. Oh, are we early? No, you're right on time. A couple more people coming up, though. A real cast of characters, if I do say so myself. <laughs> the rats racing for that cheese, huh? Going towards that great gig in the sky. Cheese? I think he's referring to the fact that we're up for the same promotion after. But we're leaving the competition aside. Tonight, it's all about having a good party. Josh, who's got the Civic with those boss-ass rims outside? I see him here all the time. Jesus fucking Christ, who is this guy? <laughs> this is my neighbor, Carl. He's a piece of shit. I come bearing gifts. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Yeah, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> I'm Darian. <laughs> Okay. I hope you guys don't mind I brought him. He's my only friend. All right, boots ready. I'm sad. Well, everyone ate. <laughs> well, everyone ate. I ate too. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The intermission is over. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's not Andy guy. Why does it seem like he hates you? What? No, Andy's the best. He lets Jack borrow any amount of money anytime he wants. Jack owes him money? You're probably the stuff on mortgage out for this stupid house. Yeah, but that's what you gotta appreciate about family though. Family and roof over that's all anybody ever needs. And hey, I'm halfway there. 2008, this year, I got my house for 12.4% below market value. The next year, I'm gonna get a car, give me some babies, and start a family of my own. Fucking white people. I really cannot. It's so good to see you. I was so scared earlier when things were getting really tense. I was scared Jack was gonna, like, do something violent to me. I didn't even recognize him. Why is Darian scared? Yeah, I don't know. He's my neighbor Carl's only friend. Real sinister vibe for that guy, and I fear a terrible fate follows him wherever he goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I just feel like he wants bad things for all of us. Yeah, no kidding. And Carl, Carl brought him? Yeah, Carl's a sad case, man. <laughs> He's got nothing for himself. Shit house, shit car, don't even got a wife. <laughs> hey, Janet! You know, your husband owes me, like, a lot of money. Good luck getting that out of him. He gambled away our house and we're getting foreclosed on. Run, <laughs> row! <laughs> no, but, but seriously, you, I'm gonna get my money one way or another. Speaking of which. Hey, Jackie boy! You know, whatever happens with the house, man, it doesn't really matter to me. I am coming to collapse one way or another. Duly noted. Hey, Scott, do you mind if I have a minute with my wife? Thanks, man. Did you tell my brother about the fucking house? I'm not doing this right now. Oh, yeah, you countdown time, rock stars. Let's fly high in the 09. I'm telling you. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9. I just don't believe this is all a surprise to you. 8. Oh, you don't? 7. I don't. 6. 5. They are not counting consistently. 4. This is over. 3. It's your fault. 2. I pray you know it's not. 1. I pray you die. Happy New Year. How many pulses means he's dead? Zero. Oh, he's definitely dead. <laughs> Someone call 911! Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. We'll call the cops and they'll take you in immediately, suspect number one. Well, what about you? He owed you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay, yeah, that's true, but, but what about you? I heard you talking about divorce. <gasps> Yeah, we all just heard you go, I hope you die! Did you think that we were in another room? We were fighting! That doesn't mean I would kill him! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa! What about, I mean, we all know about the fact that Jackie Boy and Christina took a liking to one another, working late into the night, and also the dead. <gasps> what do you look like? I mean, come on, we all know the classic story, rivals turn the lovers, huh? Okay. Why would I kill him? We were co-workers and up in the same position at work. <laughs> Sounds like a motive. I mean, I was really just talking about Scott here being mad about an affair. That checks out for me! What are you even talking about? What am I talking about? I mean, hasn't this guy been oddly quiet for someone who just witnessed a murder? You can see that hatred bottling up in those weasley little eyes. Wait, Darren's the one with all the hate. He probably did it. I really am flattered, but I have that. Okay, okay, let's all cool our fucking jets. Everybody's gonna be just fine. Shut the fuck up. I'm tired of you. No one's as nice as you are. Maybe you've got goddamn blood on your hands. Yeah, you were jealous of the fact that he had a family. And you're lonely. I'm just saying we have to be civil. We're not gonna figure anything out this way. Well, now. Everybody, hold on a goddamn minute. <laughs> Y'all need to stop running your mouths for one single Mississippi minute. Ugh. Now y'all, y'all, y'all are hooting and hollering like a whole bunch of cats on a hot tin roof. Now, <laughs> look at that shoe from the pines. So you don't have to get on up, but look at you, what a handsome fellow you are. Strumming <laughs> uh, all right through here. Hold on now, everybody. Hold on, y'all. Y'all sound better than some peach orchard hogs. Some peach orchard hogs. Now hold on, I'm getting my bears. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I said I'm almost. I said I said. Hold on now. Hold on. Oh here, hold on, hold on a minute, Junior. Come on, get up here. Get up here, Junior. Yes, sir. Come here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, move a little over there. Um. Let me uh, introduce my 
myself, uh, if, I, if, I, if I may, uh, my, name, my name is uh, Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> Uh, detective extraordinaire. I am known all across the world from Cairo to uh, Jerusalem. <laughs> this right here is my, my dear old partner and boy, Maximilian Arroyo, but I call him Junior. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I have a, I have a custody every other weekend, and uh, <laughs> this is one of those weekends. <laughs> this boy here, don't go talking to him. He's deaf as can be. Junior, hey, Junior. Oh, you can see me. He's deaf as a doornail, but uh, he's a whiz with that camera. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? He's a good boy. Uh, he films these little mysteries, and uh, he goes ahead and edits it on his little computer and uploads them to YouTube.com. Ain't that right, Junior? Ain't that right? <clears throat> we was walking down that uh, 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 avenue over there, and we were, I said, well, well, hold up. And she, whoa, 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 what is that? What is that noise? I said, I hear the company of yelling and screaming and hollering. And I walked in, and I looked at this mess here, and I thought, ooh. If I can't get myself a big old servant to let solve this mystery pie. So, I'm here to help y'all out with this uh, predicament y'all have, have, a, have a found yourselves in. So why don't you bring me up to the speed at which all y'all are driving at? Huh? For those of you who just got here, <laughs> it seems like any one of these people could have killed Jack. <laughs> Andy wanted his money. Christina wanted his job. Janet wanted him to die. <laughs> Darian just seems to hate everyone nowadays. And Scott... <laughs> it goes unsaid for a man like Scott. <laughs> and Carl... Well, Carl's just way too happy, of course, hiding the darkness within. Now! Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's zoom out for a second and let's see if we can't figure out what happened here. So, who exactly is this older, handsome cadaver? It looks like old man here had one heck of a knot, if you ask me. I I'm telling you, man, you gotta hold, take a- Hold on a minute, hold on. I don't like to be interrupted now. No, I'm serious. Hold, you gotta look hold on, hold on. I'm about to lose my train of thought and I'm about to make an imperative discovery in this here case. If you would uh, uh, avert your gaze in this area, the man has quite clearly been wounded in his abdominal region, which leads me to believe that perhaps this man may have been shot by a pistol. No. <laughs> well, I see. Y'all have done your homework. Y'all ruled that out. Well, then, perhaps old Oh, sorry, sat here ingested some aggressive poison that ate through his insides. No! He, clearly he was stabbed. Oh, looky here, this man has been stabbed. <laughs> well, perhaps he took his own life, you say? No! He, someone murdered him! Wait, this knife at this velocity and angle. Hold on, everyone be quiet. I'm about to crack this. This man has been killed. <laughs> and it was a murder. Oh, oh, you getting this, Junior? You getting this? Oh, no. Oh, no, we got ourselves hurt. Mama said those are bad. <laughs> Mama said those are bad. So if we're not going to take a minute and get to the bottom of exactly, exactly what it is that happened here. <clears throat> now, what do we do first? <clears throat> Alibis. Oh, wait. That sounds good. Alibis, alibis. <laughs> now, starting with you. Where were you at the time our, our, our dear boy here shuffled off his mortal coil? Here. 
<laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did y'all hear that? Get close. Uh, <clears throat> you tell me you happen to be in the same place at the same time that this man was killed by a knife. Well, ladies and gentlemen, get out your books and go ahead and close them. This is an open and shut case. It has been clearly her. We were all here. What? Now? All of us were here. Oh, oh. Oh, I wish you had opened with that. Uh, <laughs> oh, we oh, were all here. Oh, everyone's here. Well, that makes things a little more confusing. That makes our suspect list uh, uh, go all the way up to eight. Who's the eighth? Oh, uh, this man right here. He's dead! <laughs> yes, he is. Now, what is next on the list? Hmm. Oh, yes, T.O.D., time of death. So, uh, uh, let me ask you this then, right here. <clears throat> when exactly did this man get killed? About or 10 less? minutes ago. I'm uh, uh, sorry, you, you got About run. 10 minutes ago. Hold on now. This murder took place all the way in the last year. Whoa, oh, things are getting mighty disturbing around here. Things are getting mighty disturbing. Rule number one, look for clues. Rule number two, establish who the suspect is. <laughs> and so following that one, my method. Let's, let's get back to that alibi spot. Where was, where was my post? I was my post. Starting with the, uh, uh, the shades of the shade. There were church mouse in the corner. You wouldn't even suspect him. You see, he even said a damn thing. He's been awfully conveniently quiet, if I do say so myself. Oh, looky, looky here on his future machine. Oh, what's, 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 what's your name, huh? Darian. Okay, Damien, so, so tell me. Oh, oh, uh, I say, I say, Damien, Damien, what exactly caused you to get mad with fury and go ahead and, 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 and stick this man with a knife in cold blood like he's a Thanksgiving pig. I genuinely didn't know this person enough to care if he was alive or dead. Woo-wee! <laughs> I smell innocence. <laughs> yes, sir. Now get up on out of here before I I go ahead and smell you guilty. Now? <laughs> <I> yes. <laughs> no need to make, don't wave, don't make a meal of it, just walk out. <laughs> well, now that that uh, uh, awful hooligan's out of my way, we were, we were looking, oh yeah, oh wow, let me see if I can't piece this together. This man is dead. Hold on, Junior. Junior, what do you got? He can't hear him. Junior, Junior, Junior. Hey, hey, boy. Yeah, uh, get, get, no, get. Medium wide. No, read my lips. Medium wide. Back up, back up. Okay, all right, you're doing good, all right? Hey, I love you. I love you. Now, where was I? This man has been killed. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, this man has been killed. Junior, are you gonna fix this all in post, brother? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called you that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move around right past that. <laughs> I was talking about something a while ago. When I was a kid in Missouri, Alabama, my mama, she said, you're, you're a gentleman. <laughs> first. So following uh, that logic, thank you, Mama, let's return to our alibis, starting with you. Now. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. <laughs> now, do you confirm or do you deny now you were co-working with this man right here. Yes, we've been working at the same law firm for the past five years. You catch that? She confirms it. Oh, I'm a lawyer. Oh, I'm a big man. I'm a lawyer. Oh, oh, I'm above the law. No. Uh -huh. No, I, I didn't kill him. Mm. 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 
tastes sweet like like uh, Mama's old apple pie. Mm. Oh, you're so convincing. I'm just I'm just convinced by your tonality alone. Mm. Well, you and Jack were the same position at work, but you were gonna get it. What, what are you talking about? Yeah, he decided to let you have the position, but you didn't know that yet, so you killed him. Picking up visual clues, and alone I have solved this that it is in fact always has been his wife. That's not his wife. <clears throat> I'm sorry, what? No. <laughs> That's not his wife. This is not. Who are you? I'm not his wife. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so who exactly is the wife then? Me. Oh, 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 marriage, oh, oh, the old ball and chain. <laughs> oh, oh, we all been there. Oh, get married, they said. Oh, 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 get a house, get a lot of fence. Oh, we're in the coal mine. We're in the coal mine, coal the future, coal the future. That sun bar, that pesky sun, it ain't got no power in it. It's just bright, it's just bright. Oh, they don't know nothing. Marriage. <laughs> when it's nice, it's great. When it's bad, it's dead. Now, rumor, li li little birdies speaking all over to me, and and I'm hearing, I'm hearing that you was arguing with this man right here before his death. I'm telling you, man, they they were they were bickering nonstop. <laughs> Non-stop. I don't like being talked over. <laughs> it feels as if you're undermining what I'm bringing to this area. You're making me feel as if I'm low status and um, triggering anxiety-induced methods of thinking, which I do not enjoy doing. I'm okay. <laughs> now, what is it? What is it? You know? <laughs> Two were exactly arguing about. If I do say, if I, if I, if I may ask. He had gambled away our house. We were having a very serious argument. Gambled the house away, you say, on the ponies. What? I know them ponies. <laughs> right, Johnny. Right. We've <laughs> all been there before. All of us. <laughs> now. I have found myself a clue. <laughs> but y'all look at what, 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 now hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. So, I think I'm starting to see the full picture now. So who exactly is closure? That's not what that means. <laughs> what? That's not what that means. Oh, well, okay, hold on, let me, I can figure this out. So who, who exactly are we closing for? It's a foreclosure notice. Oh! My name is Janet. Huh? My name's Janet. Well, well then, who's Carl? That's me. Cool. Well then, this foreclosure is not foreclosure. This foreclosure <laughs> is for Carl. <laughs> Jack was telling the truth. Why? How could it be so wrong? Oh, it was the best of times. It was the best. Get up on, I don't want to see a man down there. Get up on your feet. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we haven't really asked you very many questions tonight. That is your first question. You confirmed tonight. Sure. Oh, you confirmed tonight. Now, Carl, where is 
exactly did all this money of yours go? I spent it all on rims. Oh, rims. I love my son them rims. I hear you. <laughs> On the wheels of a car, rims. Oh, rims on a vehicle, sort of a la Pit My Ride, featuring a, a exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm picking up what you're putting down. Well, so but then how did you lose all the money? Well, wait, 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 hold on. What was the question? Where did the money come from? Well, I've been refinancing my home. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hold, hold on. Carl, let me see if I'm getting this straight. You are refinancing your home and taking out subprime mortgages. <laughs> so when the big old bank comes knocking on your door, you don't have a single cent to pay your old Uncle Sam. Is that correct? Yeah. I wonder how many poor Americans have fallen, fallen victims to such a, 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 I'll be honest with you, Carl. I see you a, a bit. <laughs> I see you a bit less of a uh, suspect in this here murder trial, and more of a, a victim in an abusive uh, systemic system that is the uh, American financial crisis of the, the late 2000 era. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. So, my next question is. What type of rims are worth are worth the price of an entire house? And the one on the car in Jack's driveway. What? Who? Who's that? What? The, the car in Jack's driveway. Scott like, Civic. Scott owns that Civic. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on now. I think I'm. I think I'm figuring this out all on my own because you see, I've been picking up visual clues the entire way. And based on uh, the way a man's jacket frays or the woman has dirt on her finger nails, I'm able to piece this piece together without any assistance at all. Now I'm starting to believe, I can tell by looks alone, that this woman right here was totally, where well, she was driving. <laughs> she, let's zoom out for a minute. She, <laughs> Oh, oh, it's all crystal clear. It's nothing. Oh, nothing gets by, little old John. I can piece this together based on visual clues. And she has been. Hold on. She has been driving over here, cheating, cheating on a, 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 with him. Hold on. Yes, so you've been driving over here cheating on with this man right here. And I figured that out on my own. Uh, <laughs> no, but Scott, why is the car always here? Scott, you can tell them. I think it's him, Bob. Bob. Oh. <laughs> the boy rarely speaks. <laughs> but when the boy speaks, he speaks the truth. But if you hold on for one minute, boy, I think I've cracked this all on my own. I've been picking up visual clues, <laughs> such as uh, uh, how a man's jacket is for slightly straight, or if a woman's got dirt on her fingernails. You know, people are just like books. Oh, me, I love to read. <laughs> so let me see if I can, without any assistance, crack this case just by visual optics alone. <laughs> You believe that this man right here had lost your dang house. The very same house that I'm standing in right now. So tensions are, are understandably high. Little, little mama over here doesn't want to lose a house. <laughs> and it's New Year's Eve, 2000, and going into 2009. <laughs> and while y'all are doing a very thematically dramatic countdown, your lover, who's oh, ever so angry, comes up. I'm almost there. He, he mad. He goes, ah, ah. <laughs> Wait, your lover comes out of the shadows to your defense, and with that knife right there, sticks, sticks him in a, in, a, in a fit of fury and blood and mess, and leaves this poor man bleeding on the ground and kills him in full blood. He said, the only, the only 
thing I can't figure out because it's, it's all so it's all so smooth in my head. It's like love making in my mind. I, 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 I'm figuring all this out because you see, I, I look out for visual clues, <laughs> such as how a man's jacket frays, or, or if there's dirt under a, a, a woman's fingernails. The only thing I cannot seem to figure out is who that secret lover is, because no one, no one fits that role. Who could it be? Who could a tall, quiet? Uh, man B who has not spoken very much tonight, <laughs> and sort of slipped under the radar. No one fits that description. So who could it be? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I'm having an affair with Janet. And I couldn't take Jack. He was going to hurt Janet because she discovered the foreclosure. I'm not ashamed. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> the eyes of a child, that damn boy wonder, Maximilian Arroyo. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> I, was, uh, I was somewhere else entirely. I'm, um, I was looking for clues. <laughs> what was that you said? Yes, it's true. <laughs> Janet and I are having an affair. I couldn't stand Jack. He was going to hurt Janet, but she discovered the foreclosure. I'm not ashamed. And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for Jean-Luc Picard. Through the eyes of a child, that damn boy wonder, Maximilian Arroyo. Okay, all right. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to see what you're putting down. <laughs> oh, this is getting mighty interesting. You're telling me you saw with your very eyes the person who killed this very man right here. <laughs> yes. Oh, so this case, I'm figuring this out. You can point him out in a, in a lineup, let's say. Yes. Well, why don't I run? Wait, what was that? You, you, you did see who it was. I, I killed him. <laughs> I had it pegged as you from the moment I walked in. <laughs> I could tell, because I check out for visual clues, just by looks alone, that you were obviously sleeping with this woman right here. And you couldn't, you couldn't stand Jack anymore. You hated that he had a civet. And uh, you were so mad. You said, I'm mad. And you did the one thing no man should ever do in his life. The one law they tell you not to break. Because you couldn't stand it. You were driving. You were driven mad by, by, by rage and the ecstasy of killing. So you went ahead and you went, ricky dicky 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 You said, I'm going to kill a fellow man, a fellow, fellow patriot, if you will. Oh. Oh, yes, I know exactly what you've done. I know exactly what you've done. I figured this out all on my own. But there is one other thing that this man has done. One other thing that we have not talked about and no one else has seen except for me. This last thing that he has done. Was tell the goddamn truth. I didn't tell the truth. <laughs> so my frontal lobe just commands me to say it. One can't help but ask. What have I done to my postal service? It used to be a noble service. But I messed it up. And I killed a man I switched the package 
that did damage But I took an oath Rain or shine <laughs> I deliver what I can I'm the LeBron of mailmen <laughs> But oh nine will be better this time. Oh nine will be better this time. Facebook will never sell you. Oh nine. Oh my god! Oh, fuck. 